In this video, we will look at a new scripted action that's available in Nerdio Manager 2.8 that can be used with personal host pools and can assign local admin rights to the user who is assigned to a particular uh, virtual desktop VM uh, in a personal host pool. So a quick reminder, personal host pools are ones where a user is permanently assigned to a specific VM. And in some scenarios, you may, may want to give your personal desktop users the ability to install their own applications and uh, make changes to their own machine because it is theirs and they're the only user of that machine. There is a new scripted action under Windows Scripts in Nerdio Manager 2.8 uh, called Grant Local Admin Rights. It is a super simple script. And all it does is it takes the desktop user assigned to a VM and it adds it into the local administrators group on the VM where that user is assigned. Now, even though the script is really simple, the process of managing this manually is, is quite painful. Uh, you either have to use a group, in which case multiple users have local admin rights to multiple machines, or you have to manually figure out a way of which user gets assigned to which VM, and after those VMs get created, manually go in and make them local administrators. With this simple scripted action, Nerdio Manager lets you automate the process completely, and this is how it works. Let's take a look. So if we go under Workspaces and find a personal host pool, so here is a single user personal desktop host pool, we can do several things. We can either make all users local admins by going to manage hosts uh, hosts from the drop down select run command from the list choose the grant local admin rights and click ok this is going to take all the assigned users and pass them as a variable to the scripted action and you can see the variable name is going to be called the desktop user if there is an assigned user to a particular desktop VM. Otherwise, this will be a null value. And it will run that PowerShell script by taking this desktop user variable from WVD management service uh, and will assign that user as a local admin. So if we look inside, you can see that there is a particular user assigned to this desktop. WVD is aware of it, Nerdio is aware of it. So when you run that scripted action, the one-liner scripted action, it will pass this user as a parameter and assign them as a local admin. So this can be done manually, which is great, but the really useful situation is when you can do this completely automatically. So for example, if you want to make sure that every new desktop is is as a sign is given uh, the, the user who's assigned to that desktop uh, ends up with local admin rights. You can go to properties, VM deployment. You can enable run the following scripted action at the end of VM deployment uh, setting here. And from the list of scripted actions, choose your uh, grant admin, uh, grant local uh, user local admin rights. And after you click OK, this is going to then make sure that every time VMs are re-imaged or new VMs are created and users are assigned, then those users get added as local admins. So very simple uh, PowerShell command that makes for a very uh, powerful way of uh, automating managing of personal host pools in your WVD environment. Hope you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you in future videos.